Hello and welcome to another AMA TV presented by Greg's Garage. And we talk about what the American Motorcyclist Association is up to. And one of the goals of the AMA is to recognize and honor those in our sport who do great things. That's what the AMA Motorcycle Hall of Fame is all about. And this year it was recently announced who's getting in and who the 2015 Motorcycle Hall of Fame legend is. And it happens to be three-time FIM 500 GP champ, two-time AMA Superbike champ and president of Moto America, the new U.S. Superbike Series, Wayne Rainey, who joins us from his home in California. Hey, Wayne, congratulations on being this year's legend. Now, you were introduced to the Hall of Fame back in 1999, but now the 2015 legend to be honored in Orlando, Florida in a few weeks. Yeah, that's correct, Greg, yes. Um, so, yes, I was inducted back in 99, and I think they put in a, a whole slew of us at that time. Uh, I think it was pretty easy for the inductees at that because there was no really... Uh, you didn't have to go attend any kind of banquet. So so this time being, uh, they're calling me an AMA uh, Hall of Fame legend. So uh, I have to make an appearance. So looking forward to it, though. So how's it feel being like, I don't know, like 35 years old and being honored as an AMA legend? Well, I can barely remember being 35 years old, Greg. But uh, I think uh, being a legend, I never, I think when I think about a legend, I don't know if that's reserved for old dead guys I don't know you know so I'm not uh, I'm an old guy but I'm not quite dead yet so I guess this is uh, it's an honor and there's no doubt this is a this is a big honor uh, to be recognized in this way uh, you know this was uh, this was my my career that I that I did ever since uh, you know I started riding motorcycles at the age of six so uh, this is what I did so to, to go on and make a career out of it to win a few uh, U.S. AMA Superbike Championships, a couple, two or three, or three 500cc World Championships. So, um, and then to be involved in, uh, in in the sport the way that I am now through Moto America, it's, um, it's really cool. It's a good time in my life right now. And your love for motorcycles doesn't just revolve around road racing. Tell us how it all got started for you. Yeah, you know, I started, uh, I started riding motorcycles at the age of six, started racing at mini bikes at the age of nine, uh, turned professional dirt track um, when, I, when I was 16, uh, started road racing at the age of 19, um, and then, uh, let's see, I won my, my first championship at the age of uh, 22 or 23. Um, US, uh, in 1983, I won the US Superbike Championship for Kawasaki. And then uh, I won the, 80, the 87 Superbike Championship for Honda. And then in 88, I went on to race uh, in the World Championships for Yamaha and Kenny Roberts. And uh, so I raced that for six years. And what is it about road racing that really seems to work for you? I think um, the easiness of uh, the way the bikes, the, the, the two-stroke 500cc bikes were at that time with the way the tire technology was, you had to have a, a peculiar background to uh, get the most out of those, out of the performance of those bikes at that time. My background came from dirt track and in dirt track, it all happens real quick. You have to, you, you start uh, and the race is over in two or three minutes at times. So you have to, uh, in dirt track, what it's really good is that it teaches you to, to be aggressive without uh, making mistakes. And, uh, and you always are, you know, the track's always changing. So you're constantly uh, thinking about what the bike's doing. And, um, and then how you steer the bike through the corners was really a benefit for riding Grand Prix bikes because those bikes, and, and, and back in that time, you had to ride them like they were dirt track bikes. So um, I think I was uh, very fortunate that, I, that the background that I had worked out really well for riding those bikes the way that they had to be ridden back then. And I was able to uh, come up when it was very competitive. There was a lot of Americans that were, you know, uh, that were before me and, and some that I raced against. So it was, uh, it was a great time to be a Grand Prix racer. Now, Wayne, it's been 22 years since your career ended in Italy. Now, here you are, president of Moto America, the new U.S. Superbike Series. Did you envision that you'd be in the Hall of Fame, be honored as a legend and be such a huge part of the architecture that is rebuilding road racing in the U.S.? Not, not a chance, Greg. 
you know, 25 years ago, I was in the I was in the battle of the world championship, uh, you know, racing all over the world, you know, uh, concerned about uh, how I was going to win a Grand Prix and, and then a world championship, never thinking really what was going to happen down the road. So, you know, after my racing accident in 93 in Italy, as you said, you know, I had some uh, some opportunities to go back into the business through uh, a racing team, which Kenny Roberts helped me do. And then, um, you know, Yamaha has been, we were to, you know, they've been a big part of my life uh, since, you know, Grand Prix racing all the way up until now. So um, I never thought that I would end up in this position that I'm in right now. So a couple years ago, I met, I met a couple guys that wanted to build a motorcycle and that turned into a, me thinking about um, a question that Dorna had asked me about, hey, do you, you got any ideas to try to help find new Americans? Let's give them a chance to get back into Grand Prix. And that led into uh, what we now call Moto America. So, uh, no, it was just like, it's a crazy story, but, it's, uh, but we're serious. And uh, we're, um, you know, we're determined to make the series uh, credible and make it count. And we would like it to be very competitive in, in the world. So, uh, you know, we, we want to make this thing work. Well, Wayne, we're so glad you're still around motorcycles and motorcycle racing. Thanks for joining us here on AMA TV. And we'll see you in Orlando October 15th. Thanks, Greg. Good talking to you. See you there. All right. And hey, if you're not a member of the AMA, you should join like now. You can do that by going to AmericanMotorcyclist.com or you can make a phone call 1-800-262-5646. We're here to protect your rights, riding and racing. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time right here on AMA TV.